it's tuition time now as we bring you a few tricks of the trade. Iona Stephen is with golf coach Tom Reed. So, Tom, here we are in the bunker, a part of the game that can terrify a lot of players. We want to build confidence when we come in here, so let's get to it. What can we do? Now, the most important thing to remember in the bunker is that the sand is there to slow the club down through impact, OK? It acts as resistance. So, first things first, we must have lots of acceleration through impact. Great. Okay. That's a good excuse to have the speed then. Absolutely, yeah. And, and from a setup perspective as well, we want to go nice and wide with our stance, wriggling our feet in here, OK? Yep. Make sure you've got the ball lined up with your front foot. It's going to be very similar to that of a driver setup, OK? And the reason we want wide stance is because the club head is going to dig low into the sand. We can put our feet low into the sand at the same time and we can create a level. And the other reason as well, which is quite a nice thing, is we can test how deep the sand actually is in the bunker. Of course. Because lots of golf courses have different types of sand, different depths. This gives you an idea of how heavy a lie or thin a lie that you've got. Yeah. So, Wriggle the feet in, create okay. a nice wide base. There we have it. Ball position at the front of your stance because it's integral that we create the maximum amount of acceleration and loft on the club to get the ball out of the trap. Yeah, and of course, it's all about using the bounce in the bunker, isn't it? You it want is. to be able to get the sole, not the leading edge. Yes, and it's very similar to our pitching motion that we spoke about. The leading edge here, which just sits below the first groove on the yep. face, is very sharp. And if that comes into the sand first, it's going to dig and you won't be able to get the club head through, which will leave the ball in the sands, the worst thing you can do. Yeah. So what we do to expose the bounce is we set the club face ever so slightly open. OK. OK. And for you, if you just go into that setup position now, Iona, with a slightly open face, you'll notice now that that face is open, but the centre actually starts to point to the right of where you want the ball to go. Mm. So rather than aiming too far left, which I think sacrifices your alignment, very simply, just drop your hands back like so. And that's going to square the club face up at the target line again. Of course, So right. we're going to go ball position forwards, mm -hmm. face open, drop the hands back, and then we've got a nice square alignment with an open face. OK. Perfect. How's that? That's great. So from a setup perspective, that's perfect. So just go ahead and hit one bunker shot for us now, Iona. Let's see what you do. Beautiful. Loads of acceleration through the hit there, and there was a great sound to that bunker shot as well. Yeah. So the other thing, and, and the drill I would probably offer a lot of golfers as well, is that to be a consistent bunker player, you have to land the club head at the same point every time. Yes. Then you can start to become in tune with how much sand you should take, and obviously that will help you come in tune with what type of club head speed you need to move the ball out. Yeah. So a very simple drill that I would offer and if we just take the balls away, I'm going to create one long line here. OK. And all I'm going to ask you to do, starting from this side, mm -hmm. is strike on the line and see how many times you can move down the line, getting the club head to impact at the same point every time. OK. We're trying to create consistency with where the club lands at this point. A bit before. So a little early, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Good. I love how many of your drills, Tom, don't involve hitting a ball. So I think it really presents a real opportunity to learn movement, to learn before you have that added pressure of actually hitting a golf ball, because that really Absolutely. does pile it on. It's a big ass to try and improve something while you're trying to perform. So yeah. I really, really think that's a great thing yeah. to do. It's good patient practice. And obviously, you know, unless you're a master multitasker, this is the way forwards. You've got to create the, the, the correct and consistent movement pattern. Yeah. So now the club head is entering the sand at the same point. You've got a reference point now. And that's the first thing, and, and the big key to being a consistent bunker player is landing the club consistently at the right point behind the ball. OK, Iona, now that you've practiced the club landing at the same point every time, I want you to take that rhythm into a bunker shot. So get yourself set up nicely. OK. And just as a recap, wriggle the feet in, nice wide stance. Yep. Ball hands. at the front, club open, and then hands back. And now you're ready to release this club head through the ball. Beautiful. Great shot. Yeah, I really got that nice, confident strike because I knew, having done the practice without the ball, how it was going to feel in advance. Yeah. So really good advice there from Tom. Hopefully this will help you at home too to build confidence and become a better bunker player.